Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds to talk about marine operations, specifically launching a drone from a boat. Today we're gonna to use the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone and we're gonna talk about some of the safety considerations and things to think about before you start this operation. Anytime first responders are caught in a situation of possibly launching a drone from the bow of the boat, there's some considerations to think about before even taking off the drone or landing the drone. It could be looking for a missing person out in a marine environment, a distressed vessel, or it can be just to oversee operations that are already going on. So we're gonna take a look at some of those situations and scenarios, and I'm gonna tell you about some that I've experienced myself. One of the first things to think about before launching your Mavic 3 Thermal off of the boat is where exactly on the boat are you going to take off and land? Preferably, you want the bow of the boat or a big open area. In my opinion, and from my experience, launching the drone and landing the drone is one of the hardest, if not the hardest thing I have done. You have to compete against a rough ocean environment, a lake or a river, current and wind. Any place on the boat that is wide open and gives you enough space is the right way to go. You're already gonna have to be competing potentially with wind and current and any type of conditions in your marine environment to make the operation difficult. The next thing I do after finding the right location to take off the Mavic 3 Thermal is to notify the captain to turn off the engines. I like to get a good idea of which way the wind and current is going. They could be going opposite directions and there's a lot of things to think about before launching the drone. The next thing to do after finding the proper location on a boat and calculating the wind and the current is to tell the captain to maneuver the boat so the wind is at my back. So he can turn the boat real quick. I would go up to the bow of the boat. For demonstration purposes, I'm on a dock right now, but if this were the bow of my boat, I would go up to the bow of the boat, have the drone facing outward, whether it's in my hand or on a good launching platform, and get ready for takeoff. I want the wind at my back in case something bad happens, I don't want the drone drifting back into me or the boat. Reason number two is, in my opinion, it's easier if something happened really quick and the drone was coming back at me to go forward on the sticks instead of backwards. So those are safety considerations to think about when launching the drone from the boat. The next thing to think about after doing your pre-flight checks with your Mavic 3 Thermal is to go into your RC and change the return to home settings. Remember, where you took off normally on land, it's going to be different on a vessel. Your vessel is going to be a dynamic home point because most likely it's always going to be moving. Even if the boat's anchored, it's going to be moving. So. Change the return to home settings on the RC from return to home to return to me or the RC. I've heard a lot of bad stories where people forget to do this. The drone takes off and then it's calculating battery time distance and you're not even long into your operation and the drone wants to go home and it wants to go back to where you took off on the vessel. That could be a long ways away. So make sure you keep that dynamic home point and change that in your RC. Okay, we're on the bow of the boat or any open location on the boat and we have our pre-flight checks and we found where we're gonna launch. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is change our home point settings. So to do that, you can click on the upper right three little dots right here and then you have your flight controller settings and your home point settings. 
So if I click the left aircraft one right here, set as home point. it says your aircraft location is set as your home point. But since we want a dynamic home point, because most likely our vessel is going to be moving, we're going to hit the icon right to the right where you see the remote controller and the person. Okay, I changed my home point settings. My pre-flight checks are done. This is my make-believe bow of my boat. I have a good open location, preferably a high point on the boat with very little obstructions going on. So I'm ready for takeoff. Right now, I have the wind at my back, which is what I want, and I'm ready to take off the drone. I found a good takeoff spot. I can also take off in my hand, but that's for a different operation. So we're gonna go ahead and take off. Here we go. Now I think one of the most important things to remember after takeoff is the vessel is moving. So once the drone takes off from the boat, get it away from the boat. Okay, we completed the mission and it's time to land the Mavic 3 thermal drone. The first thing I'm gonna wanna do is notify the captain to try to maneuver the vessel where the wind is at my back. After he does that, I went into my remote control settings and I already changed the obstacle avoidance settings to off because I wanna try to hand catch this drone. The next thing that I like to do is back the drone in. So I have the Mavic approaching the bow of the boat. I'm backing it in. The reason I like to back it in is if I have to make a split second decision, I find it easier to go forward and make that quick decision to get it away from potentially people or the boat and to get it out of a uh, hazardous situation than do anything else on the sticks. Okay, we're re getting ready to land our Mavic and we're out on the bow of the boat and we are potentially fighting against wind and current. What we're gonna wanna do is hand catch this drone. So we're gonna hit the little three buttons up here and the second one from the top I have my obstacle sensing settings and then obstacle avoidance it has break avoid and off what I'm gonna want to do is click it to off right here on the right because when I'm landing the drone I don't want it to pick up any obstructions on the boat or even my hand so let's see how this goes in And if you notice, my hand on the left stick is down. So I'm just gonna hand catch the drone above my head and have this stick facing down. Okay, you may not have to compete against the wind when taking off or landing your drone, but you may have to compete with the current. So to do this, what I like to do is still be in that open place in the boat, preferably the bow of the boat, and have the boat operator turn the boat and turn the engines off. So where, if the boat's going away from you, when you take off the drone, it's going the other way and it doesn't have the potential to come back and hit the operator or crash into the boat. So to recap, we need to fly our drone from our vessel for any marine emergency. First thing we're gonna wanna do is find an open location on the boat, preferably the bow of the boat. Then we're gonna wanna notify the captain to maneuver the vessel to play the wind and the current, which we talked about. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is go into our remote control for our pre-flight settings and turn off the return to home setting to return to me, which makes us have the dynamic home point. Then we'll turn the obstacle avoidance off. We'll take the drone and we'll either do a hand launch or we can launch from the front of the boat with the drone facing away from the operator and the vessel. We take off the drone, we fly the mission, then it's time to return home. We have the obstacle avoidance already off. If we didn't have it off, turn it off, back the drone in, and hand catch the drone playing the wind and the current. So 
I hope that's clear for everyone. Again, it can be a very challenging take off in a very challenging land, but if done right, this is what I have found to be the best solution to those issues. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone for marine emergencies, specifically taken off and landing from a vessel. Anytime we're taken off and landing from a vessel, we have our challenges. If we take into account our safety considerations with the vessel itself, the wind and the current mixed with the RC settings, it makes for a safer operation. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Have a nice day. Happy flying.